we leave that up to you. Leave it in the comments. Is he wrong? Listen, as a member of the uh, uh, We Eat Too Much Society, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. I Hello and welcome to another edition of Unpopular Review Entertainment. And tonight we are doing recasting of The Nutty Professor. So now, what are we going to be doing? What we're going to be doing is that we're going to be changing person, place, or thing in this movie. And it should be a lot of fun. Okay. I will go first because I, I only have one. And mind you, this is something that I've been thinking about for a long time. Why? Because I love these movies. Um, well, this movie. And you know what? A lot of people might agree with me. Some people will definitely disagree with me. However, the one person that I would take out of this movie is this one mm. right here. <clears throat> Why would I take her out of this movie? I would take her out of this movie and add this person okay. to this movie. Why would I do that? I would do that because then the second movie would make sense, number one. And then number two, the second movie would be better, right? Because um, here's the thing. The second movie was a money grab because the clumps did so well. The clumps are the funniest people in this movie. But, man, the whole situation with Janet Jackson, Janet Jackson should have been Miss Purdy in the first movie. And then they could have just led on to the second movie where he would have gotten his girl. You know what I mean? They could have rewrote that whole story and made it so much better. The way that they did that crappy ass movie was terrible. It was funny, but it was terrible. Compared to this movie, oh my God, it was terrible. This is why I would put Janet Jackson in this movie. And man, let's keep it real. This is not one of Jada Pinkett's best, best roles. You know what I mean? She was filler. She was real, real filler. You know what I mean? Anybody. And the mark means anybody could have been in this role. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, like let, let, let's keep it real. Putting Janet Jackson in there would have been so, so much better. Just for the whole overall entire story of the man like you would have been rooting for him more why because he didn't get the girl in the first movie and then maybe in the second movie he could have gotten a better something like that man i would have popped so much for that but unfortunately that didn't happen and the second movie was what it was and now it is what it is and mind you this could have got, gotten to three four maybe five movies if they want if they wanted to but unfortunately in the second movie they kind of dropped the ball therefore i would definitely definitely put janet jackson miss jackson in um, The Nutty Professor 1, take out Jada Pinkett and have that story running the way it, that it should be. Shout out to Eddie Murphy and shout out to Jada Pinkett for, you know, being okay. Being okay. You know, she's a really good actress, but not the best in this movie. Not, not in this one. Vic, you brought out some classic gems of yours. So uh, that's the thing. You brought out Miss Silhouette. Um, you brought out The Left. <laughs> The letter R, the letter S, the letter F. <laughs> but anyway, it was a nice recast, and I'll give you credit. Vintage, Vic, yeah. vintage, fabulous Hercules, and I, I just and because it wasn't so much tomfoolery, it was a little bit, but it wasn't so much tomfoolery. But to prepare everybody for the tomfoolery that's going to come, I decided to go out here and bring dignity into this segment already start off with a little bit of dignity one thing that i want to say i want to preface everything that's been said in uh, the episode that we did live in this recorded segment for all of you upre fans i want to sit here and preface that we do not fat shame under any circumstance here at upre we respect everybody and their weight issues in an individual basis i appreciate all you people even when you eat a muffins all right so Let's start off by uh, uh, recasting this person right here. This is Grandma Clump. Okay, Grandma Clump needed to be recasted because she was the she was the main character to me. She was so entertaining, and I was like, "Wow, only one other person could play a character duel that well and be just as entertaining at age." And here she goes. That is Medea. Good one. Because same situation. Mm -hmm. 
Same things coming out of her mouth. So I was like, okay, that's pretty good. So then I go to this guy and I'm going to go to somebody else who played them. There you go. If Tyler Perry can play the grandma, Tyler Perry can play the uh, the brother. Thanks. Simple, easy, quick. See what kind of dignity I bring into this episode. But wait, there's more. I got another one for you. I'm going to recast the main character because this guy is proportioned well. Uh, and he's he, he's very nice. He's a very super intelligent person. So I went through everybody that I know in movies and personally, and I said, who do I know? Who do I know that this reminds me of this? Just as intelligent, just as nice, just as sensitive, makes good decisions, right? Who do I know that can play this character? I said, I know who. There's only one man that can do it. That's this man right here. This man is the executive <laughs> Chris Harris. Why? Because I feel, I feel this man's pain. Look at the pain in his eyes right now. I can't stop eating. That's me at Old Country Buffet. I can't <laughs> stop eating. But I had to pick this picture because one, you can see where I can't stop eating. That wrestling shirt is stretched out. And then two, I'm teaching somebody like a professor. That's what the executive consultant does. That's why I will recast myself as Professor Clump. See? See? Makes sense, in the, right? In this Tyler Perry production. <laughs> in this Tyler Perry production. <laughs> Last person I'm going to recast, because if I recast it, uh, uh, Professor Sherman, I need to recast Buddy Love. So I said, oh, okay. He's kind of skinny-ish. A little bit obnoxious. Very loud. Very abrasive. Who do I know in all of acting and personal that can play a character so loud, so obnoxious, so just annoying that you just want to take a serum and have him go away. UPR's own Steamin' Willie <laughs> Beaver. There you go. I imagine if I took some blue stuff, I would turn it to Steamin' Willie Beaver. <laughs> Word up. And that's my <laughs> casting. <laughs> so two weeks in a row, Chris, Chris with the heat. Um, is he wrong? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. that's a deep cut for those who have been watching and those who are up on TV references. Now, listen, one of the things I had when I watched the movie, as you know, I do these based on who they look like. And the other, I have to say, was inspired. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Was by the executive himself when we did um, the review of The Nutty Professor. Look for that. That should be dropping tomorrow or the day thereafter. So I give credit to him for this next one. No, it's not Tyler Perry. I know that's what you're all thinking. No, it's not Caden, who you saw on episode four's review, and then you never saw him again. But he has time to do all these Oscar movie reviews. But listen, no, I'm going to recast, as Chris calls him, the Dean with no name. But I looked it up because I couldn't remember his name either. And it's Dean Richmond. Now, forgive me, I didn't look up this actor's name, but I've seen him in a lot of things. And look at that face right there. That's the face I make when Chrissy makes a comment in the in the group chat, but can't be on the show. But anyway, this <laughs> is would you say, Vic? I'm sorry. Anyway, this is Dean Richmond <laughs> from The Nutty Professor. And he was pissed because his school didn't have any money, and therefore he didn't have any money. And he was mad at, at Sherman because he was big and he could easily be bullied. And I thought to myself, well, when I saw that picture that Chris put up, I said, I need somebody who reminds me of that. And it clicked immediately. As soon as I saw this picture, I saw this one from The Breakfast Club. And that's Vice Principal Richard Vernon. And if you've seen The Breakfast Club, and obviously you know that he's talking to the kids in detention when they're first sat down there and everything like that, and he's given the rules and everything like that. That's who it reminded me of. Except this one from The Breakfast Club is in the 80s. Dean Richmond is in the 90s. So I said, well, let me double up on that. This is the recast that I saw earlier. Let me start again in the 90s. This is Buddy Love, and he's working out, right? You see how happy he is. And then I looked at the woman to his right, not the first one in the, in the back, but the one in the foreground. And I looked at the haircut, and I said, that haircut looks very familiar to me. Who does it look like? Now, Chris is shaking his head. <laughs> now, I'm very curious. Before I do the recast, who do you think I'm going to say? Now, Vic is perplexed, and he's also tired. Thanks for bringing the energy. To your own movie pick but um i'm curious who you all think i'm gonna pick but again i show you the picture for those viewers at home there we go and i said oh the haircut looks so familiar you know who it reminds me of let's go back in time to the 80s 
This is her when she was sad before she started jazzercise. She still has the outfit, though. Who is that? You don't know her? This is a classic. That's Molly Jensen. Now, who's Molly Jensen looking at? Is it her boyfriend, Sam Wheat? Is it Buddy Love in the future? I don't know. It's the 80s, so no black man could be with her. But anyway, 10 years on, this is her. This is after Jungle Fever, so it's okay. And here she is with her black friend, because that's all it was allowed in the 80s. She goes by the name Guinan. You might know her. You might know her as Shanzi, the nun, and Sister Act. Um, you might know her as the queen in Cinderella with Brandy. She's the EGOT. This is Whoopi Goldberg. And that is Molly Jensen. My recast for uh, Buddy Love's workout partner, Molly Jensen from Ghost. 80s and 90s, I give you 80s and 90s. Huh? I have to admit, I see your viewpoint. There you go. I keep it logical. With, with, with Whoopi Goldberg. All right, so... Hey, John, but that is our recasted here for the Nutty Professor. Somebody take us home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for watching Unpopular Reviews Entertainment. This was our recasted of the Nutty Professor. Clearly, we had an amazing time tonight. So join us for next time because it will be another fun time. Thank you and have a great night.